What's up everybody? It is a frigid 28 degrees here in the Panhandle of Florida. I know, right? It, that's totally not like Florida. It's not supposed to be. So I thought we'd take today and talk about my experience with my big green egg. I've had it about two years roundabout at this point in time in this video and I've learned a lot of things about it. We've cooked everything from fish to vegetables to pizzas on it and so in this video I'm going to talk about some of the good things and the bad things about the big green egg. So let's jump right into it. So I'm going to break this video down into about five categories and uh, that's really the only way I can think of do this video. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is your setup. I have worked really hard from where I started to where I'm at now on the setup of my big green egg. Little history piece, I got my green egg for Christmas a couple years ago. Well, actually, me and Samantha got it for Christmas. Uh, her mom uh, got it on Facebook Marketplace for like 600 bucks and it came with all kinds of stuff. It came with the egg, utensils, the, the little table, it even came with some green egg charcoal. So another part I wanted to add on setup is this bad boy is heavy, okay? You have to take this thing apart top and bottom, separate it to move it because if you don't, you'll break it. And I broke the inside piece of mine, the inside ceramic basket. It's got a crack in the middle of it. But I just stick them back together and it still rocks on. And it cooks and I haven't had too much problem with it. I probably should fix it or get another one. But you know what, I'm a trooper. I'm just gonna keep letting it fly. And as long as it cooks the food, tastes good, that's about as good enough for me. So if you got a spot you're gonna put it in and it's gonna stay there a long time, this grill is for you because it's gonna be fine in the elements and it's gonna last a long time. Everything about it is well crafted. Nothing about it is cheap. With the Weber's and some of the others, they're not made of you know, nice quality stuff, they're not gonna last as long. But that is a conversation on what your budget is and how much you like to cook. I think that you can find these things pretty reasonable on the marketplace or on Craigslist or whatever and not have to really buy them new. Seems like a lot of people get them and then don't use them that much. So, and that was another thing I was gonna talk about in this video, like, your setup is gonna determine kind of how you use it and if you like to use it. For us, it is like a Sunday afternoon, everybody come over, drink some beers, and it's a social thing. Like, we use it all the time. Our, our neighbors come over, and it's a good thing to have just to hang out, spend a couple hours cooking some chicken for everybody to eat, some steaks, a butt, whatever. Ooh, ooh. Goodness. We've been cooking all day. I think Samantha outdid herself on this one. Man. Taste So the setup for us is it's game day. We have our, you know, football going on and we have our, you know, the whole nine yards in the backyard. Got going on for Father's Day. TV. Shish kebabs. Woo. So you want to invest in your gadgets, you want a lighter, something to light your charcoal with. Um, I have a uh, charcoal lighter. I even use a torch sometimes. You know, like those yard flamethrowers, those things can be kind of fun. But remember, these things smoke a ton, so keep that in mind if you're trying to operate it on your little patio under a, uh, like an awning, you might need a fan to kind of blow the smoke away. And that's what I use. This, the fan just kind of keeps it, air, the air circulating and the smoke going the other direction. The number two thing, I wanted to talk about this because um, th this will kind of decide which way you waver. The, the, the green egg has a cost of operation, okay? Um, it takes a lot of charcoal, because we have a large, it takes a lot of charcoal, get it up and going, and uh, this can, you know, be expensive because of the lump charcoal, which you use in a green egg, it's a little more expensive. Uh, I usually buy it in big bags from Lowe's for like $12.99 for like, a, I think it's like 18 or 20 pounds worth of lump charcoal. The, uh, I think it's red oak from Walmart is a little cheaper. 
Um, but what you're buying with this is cleaner, charcoal. I think like most of the charcoal is even made by the same company, like at the top tier. But you're, it, some are, are, have bigger chunks, they're cleaner, and, and you kind of get what you pay for. Most of the time, I'm just doing some chicken and I really can't tell the difference. Or if I'm just doing something, you know, just for a bunch of people to come over, I can't tell the difference. But if you're smoking a butt or it's gonna be on there a long time, well, charcoal can make a difference and that can be the cost. So, if I'm cooking steaks and I'm just cooking two of them, or if I'm just cooking chicken and I'm just cooking a handful of them, I'm not gonna turn on the green egg. Like, if it's just two pork chops, I have a little propane grill that I got years ago, and it is a stormtrooper, let me tell you. I got it years ago at Lowe's. It's what I do most of that stuff, the, the flash searing, the on and off. We just use that a little one. And then if we have a lot of stuff to do, or if we're cooking for the week, or we're meal prepping, we turn on the green egg, we get it heated up. We're doing this for smoking something, or we want that taste, we'll heat it up. If it's Friday, Saturday night, we'll heat it up. But if it's Monday night, and we just need a, a pork chop, we're gonna use the little propane grill, or you might wanna use your propane grill. Just FYI on that. Ooh, ooh. Goodness. We've been cooking all day. But that brings me into the number three thing, your cooking style. If you're searing, it's great. If you're searing a lot of stuff and you have the time to heat it up to its temperature. If you're doing smoking, it's great. True test is, how easy the bone comes out. Woo! Ooh, look how clean it is. That's wild. It's a good sign. That's a good sign. There's not much that can beat a green egg smoking, except for making your baby a really expensive smoker. It does really great. It keeps the smoke right in there. You really get it deep into the flavor and I have no complaints on it whatsoever about that. Like baking and stuff like that, like cooking a pizza or anything like that does great if you can get it up to the temperature. And I'll talk that, I'm gonna talk about that later in the cleaning category. But for your cooking style, remember that it has to fit what you cook a lot. And if you're wanting to throw down an $800 green egg, you gotta love to get that smoke taste you gotta love to cook stuff for a long amount of time or you're gonna be cooking a lot of stuff um, it, it, it is an experience it is more of a let's grab some brews and hang out a while you know because it, it takes a good time for it to heat up get the right temperature cook the food and then power it down by closing all the vents and you can usually save a lot of the charcoal that you have left it'll just kind of kill the airflow and that's it. The charcoal will die and you can use pretty much most of it again another day. But to summarize this section, you need a propane grill if you're just cooking a little bit. You wanna be able to heat it up fast, cook it fast, turn it back off. That's the con. So number four will be, you gotta keep it clean. I mean, you gotta, you gotta clean this bad boy out all the time. Like before you use it, you're using the little raker to get all the the dust out, make sure you get it out from all the vents inside the little holes and then inside the little porcelain piece in between on the inside of the grill. And it's kind of like the basket separates from the outside of the grill too. You, know, you got the outside ceramic, then you got the basket. Well, there's airflow in between those two pieces. And you gotta make sure you clean all that out. Sometimes you use a blower to blow it all out. But if you're gonna try to get it at a high temperature, it has to be clean or it'll get to like 400 degrees and that's it. Like you, you gotta keep it clean. Because honestly, that is your temperature control and I just wanted to put that out there. Which is number five, temperature control. It's cool that you can get it at a temperature, hold it there, you got a good thermometer and you can kind of leave it there for hours on end at three, 350, 400 degrees and you can fluctuate it. You can do the little dials at the top and the bottom to make it hotter or colder. If you need it super hot, you just take that top piece off and that air will get the cooking through there and you'll get to 600 degrees. It'll get up there and if you gotta burn it out from the inside and clean it out, you can get it hotter. I mean, this thing will get as hot as a star, let me tell you. You know, the temperature control is pretty awesome. But in conclusion, if you're trying to decide whether you wanna get a green egg or one of those Komodos or you're fighting against a cheaper Weber. Um, if you love to cook and it is an experience and you love that smoky flavor, Green Egg is an awesome idea. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's an expensive item. You gotta use it a lot. You gotta be really into cooking. 
Um, me personally, I can cook the same on an acorn. Or it's like if you're trying to decide if you cook a lot, it's cool. But if you're just cooking once in a while and the taste, you can't tell the difference between a $5 bottle of wine and a $100 bottle of wine, kind of like me, yeah, you'd probably be like, whatever. If you're cooking a lot, it's great. Um, it's really gonna boil down to your cooking style and what you love to cook. And for me, even though I'm, you know, kind of stuck in the middle, I like my green egg. It is an experience. We, I can hang out with my friends, sit on the back porch. It is a conversation piece, and it'll cook just about anything I want. It's durable, and uh, that's, you know, that's important. It just lasts. The weather doesn't kill it. Um, the things you'll run up replacing them probably be the griddle, the iron um, grill part years into the future. It'll last a long time. There's nothing cheap about it. Or you might have to, you know, maybe the, the springs or the seals that hold the smoke in. Um, but other than that, this thing is a piece of ceramic, like it, it is going to be there. It's heavy, it's substantial. And I like it and I'm glad I got it for Christmas. And if you're thinking about getting one for Christmas, go for it. You can always sell it. But um, it'll last and it's fun and I enjoy it and we like the taste. So that's what all I got guys. That's what I wanted to put on video. I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I'm glad I could get it out there. I hope you guys like it. Comment down below if you like the green egg or what your favorite, you know, what your favorite grill is. Comment down below too. That way other people that are just cruising through will decide which one to pick. But I'll see you guys later.